Thank you so much for attending my presentation about why Avalug is a disaster, and first let's talk about its traits. Its stats are absolutely absurd. 95 HP and 184 defense are monstrous and make it nearly impenetrable physically. In addition, unlike its special counterpart Blissey, it can dish out some really solid damage. 117 attack is nice, especially when given Avalanche, a move that doubles in power if the user took damage that turn. This basically always means it's hitting with double damage as the iceberg speed stat is low. Special attack and special defense are really poor, but that's okay, it doesn't need to do well on that side. Unfortunately, Avalug was cursed with the ice type, hurting its defensive capabilities tremendously. Ice has one resistance, but unlike normal, it's weak to a lot of stuff. Fire, fighting, steel, and rock types all hit hard, even physically. The last of those is especially bad because of stealth rocks. Before the introduction of heavy duty boots, it just wasn't able to switch in easily throughout games. This issue was remedied a bit, but after a single knockoff which it wants to absorb for its team, this comes roaring back. It does have recover and is thus able to heal off the 25% chip damage, but it's not ideal to say the least. After all that, it might seem useless, but Avalug has actually seen some reasonable success. First, in the lower tiers like PU, its defense becomes a great commodity. With fewer options available, players have to resort to some off-the-wall picks, which is right where Avalug belongs. It uses a move I haven't mentioned yet, Rabbit Spin, clearing hazards off the field. Even though it takes that damage on switch in, it hopefully won't have to again. Avalug has been a great ZU and PU defensive wall for years. During Gen 9, where it can stop being an ice type whenever it wants, it rose up to NU with a similar set. It even has body press, which deals good damage off of its defense stat. Avalug's also seen some limited use on OU stall teams. It's always been niche, as the ice type and a relative lack of utility options can suck, but physically it's unmatched. This guy can also run Rocky Helmet to pressure those pokes even more, forcing in something that can actually take it down. It's really fringe, even in this role, but having overused usage will always be great. Up to this point, you might be a bit confused. I kinda seem like I like this thing, and to be honest, I do. I of course have my gripes, but complaining doesn't make sense. Game Freak tried to make a bulky ice type, and while it didn't do amazing, it had enough success to justify it. And guess what? With Legends Arceus release, it got a new form. Maybe now it's finally time for the table to topple the metagame. However, instead of making any progress on its design, they made an insane choice that gave it literally no hope. So what happened? I really did try to write a script for this part of the video, but I wasn't adequately capturing my feelings about Hisui and Avalug, so we're just going to talk about it without a script. Recently, I made a video talking about Garganacle and how, in essence, it is good despite the rock type. Its rock type does not help it defensively at all. In fact, there was a case to be made that if it was not naturally a rock type, if it was a water or a fairy type or just something a little bit better, it could very reasonably just be banned from overused. So you hear that and you think, okay, the last thing they would want to do for Avalug, which is a primarily defensive Pokemon. Pokemon is give it the rock type. Unfortunately, you are way overestimating Game Freak because that is exactly what they fucking did. It is an ice rock type. Those are the two worst defensive types in the game. I don't get it. It is now weak to earthquake, which is super common coverage. It is now weak to water and grass moves. It is now quad weak to fighting and to steel moves, which are also really, really common. It's not staying in on anything ever. Where like, hey, maybe you could take a, you know, non-stab close combat for 40% and fire back with a pretty strong avalanche. Now it's taking 80 and, oh, hey, it has... Uh, uh, 10 more attack. Still, like, is that even that big? It lost some special defense. It's not even that good. I don't know what you want. Like, and it has Mountain Gale now. Ooh, Mountain Gale. Fun move with a 30% chance to flinch. Unfortunately, Avalug is slow as shit. It's never going to be able to flinch anything. It's so slow. What? 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 What the hell were they doing? And guess what? It's really bad. It's usable in PU and ZU, kind of like Avalug, where, oh, you could Terra and it has really good stats, because guess what? When you Terra, it becomes pretty okay defensively. Unfortunately, as soon as regular Avalug comes back, it's going to be complete fucking dog shit again, because, oh, now Avalug's back, and Hisui and Avalug is just worse Avalug, like, in essentially every single way. I don't get it. In conclusion, regular Avalug is an honestly cool design. I like what they did competitively, and I think it works better than most people give it credit for. However, Hisui and Avalug makes my fucking brain hurt. I don't get it. Thank you so much for watching.